is Miriam, and I would say I've identified myself as Black or African American. Um, I identify myself as Black or African American because both my parents are Black, so yeah. Um, I would say I first realized that I was Black was, I would say, middle school? Middle school. Um, in fifth grade, after fifth grade year, I went to a public school where the majority of kids were Black. And then in middle school, I went to a different school where it was predominantly white. And I would kind of say I first realized was like on the first day, I went to class and there was maybe like two other black kids in class. And I was just like, oh, you know, it's kind of weird seeing all white people and not really majority of black people when I grew up in elementary school. And then kind of when I went to different classes, I just realized there was maybe about two of us in each class. It kind of made me realize, like, wow, like, I am black. But I would say I truly, truly knew that I was black. I would say in sixth grade, um, you know, Black History Month, of course. We were, you know, talking about Martin Luther King and stuff like that and you know they talk about all the you know the positive people martin luther king and rosa parks and stuff like that and you know my family my church kind of taught me about emmett tell and malcolm x and black panthers and stuff like that and so one day i kind of just like raised my hand and be like oh so are we going to talk about like you know malcolm x or you know the black panthers and kind of the teacher said, the teacher said no. And for me, I'm like, well, you know, that's kind of a big thing, in, I would say, in history, especially the Black Panthers. And they said, um, they really weren't that influential. And I was like, what? It kind of just <laughs> was like very shocking to me. Like, we're not going to talk about it because they weren't influential, but we can talk about the KKK. Mm. Yeah, it's kind of when I truly knew that I was in like a predominantly white school, even though I knew I went, but it's like, why? Like the things that they're taught in school and why they don't, I feel like white people don't know as much until they get to like, what, sophomore, junior year, and they finally talk about it, which is ridiculous. Um, um. What I've been taught about race is my mom and my dad kind of just told me, I remember when I was younger, they just told us is that there's different people in the world who have different backgrounds. So like they told me I was black African American and then there's white, Asian, Mexican, but like I was taught that we're all human and we need to treat everyone with respect. Like, you know, treat people how you'd be treated. And so, you know, that's how I like treat everyone and I would say nowadays how has community and society taught me the meaning about race I would say it taught me kind of a lot of things like you know how no one is like equal but we're all supposed to be equal I would say really community and society especially now at times has taught me the community like the meaning of community, especially with um, just like all the killings of these black men and women. Well, I, I'm from Minnesota and every, I feel like everyone knows about George Floyd. And, you know, it was really, you know, sad to think about it from where I live. It was no more than 10 minutes away from where it happened. And it was just amazing to see how everyone from different backgrounds come together and you know kind of it wasn't about oh who's black who's white who's asian who's mexican like it was nothing about that it was just everyone coming together for a cause and it, it was so inspiring to see just stuff like that that no matter what you look like if there's something wrong like we will come together and I would say the meaning of race nowadays, I feel like it's really not what's on the outside, but it's in the inside. If you have a good heart, I feel like 
anyone would accept you the way you is the way you are 